Welcome to the Land the House YouTube channel. I'm Seth. For about eight years, I've been working with the hydraulic ram pump, which is this little water pump here. It's an off-grid water pump that requires no fuel or electricity to operate, only flowing, falling water. So my setup is I've got a bucket right here with a half inch drive pipe comes down to the pump and then it will have a garden hose that carries water way up the hill. So it typically works on a one to seven ratio. So for every one foot of drop that you have going into the pump, it'll lift seven feet out. I have been saying these numbers now for a very long time and it's finally time that we make a chart to actually get some concrete evidence on how these pumps perform and how they lift water and at what volume they lift to certain heights. So I have got a few tools here that I'm gonna use. A pen and paper, which is something new for Land of House. <laughs> I've got an actual measuring cup that we can use to find out a volume. And then to get the height, I'm gonna be using this Sigmund laser level with a tape measure. So I'm basically going to set this right here onto my little tripod, level it out, and take a tape measure. So for instance, the water in the bucket here has a float valve that will keep it pretty consistent at that level. So I'll find a point right over here on the hill where the laser, <coughs> excuse me, where the laser hits that point. I'll come down over here, hold up a tape measure, and get the exact head pressure as that laser level shoots out over here. And we'll run the pump. And I've got some markers that we will use to go up the hill. And I use the same setup with the tape measuring level to uh, just find maybe 20 foot, 25 and 30 foot. And we will see how well the pump does off of this head pressure up there. Okay, only the laser that is going out this way is active. So let me see if I can drop this down just enough where it touches that water. It's going to take me a while to find out how to get this thing to actually level out. I can already tell it's not going to translate well for you, but if I take this reflective mirror here, I can actually see the line right here go up and down. So it is uh, very faint. I doubt you can see that at all. Uh, but let me see here what we've got for the head pressure of the input. So we are at uh, 65 inches there. Cool. Way easier than I thought. Um, I'm not sure how well this thing is going to take if I go way up the hill here, but at least we know 65 inch input head pressure. The next thing I want to do for this chart is to stand at my bucket here and then take the laser up to whatever my next point's going to be. And I'm going to do the same thing where I measure down and then I'll step up and step up until I have, I think 20 feet will be our first mark. I'm not sure that's enough back pressure to keep the pump going, but at least we'll try at that point. I just found all the values up the hill. Let me zoom in so you can see them real quick. So here's our bucket at uh, five and a half foot. So if we zoom up, our first marker is right here and that is 20 foot. The next one is right whoop, there, 25 foot, and then 20, uh, 32 foot is right there on the edge of the porch. Sorry that it's half painted, I'm working on that. Uh, so let's just go ahead and see what five and a half feet will do as far as flow rate goes. So let's crank up the pump here. This drive pipe's gonna fill up. It's gonna slam this closed. All right. <clears throat> so if I can find a very small opening on here, it should run the pump for me and fill up that delivery pipe. The pump is now running on its own and pushing water uphill. Hopefully I can open this 100%, see if it'll stay on. Good, okay. So last time I checked, the water was about where my Japanese beetle trap is. So we've only got about five more feet or so to climb. So we're gonna go up there and measure the gallon, or the uh, flow rate at one minute's time. And we'll do that for the uh, 20, 25, and 32. 
All right, no water here yet, but doing the hose pickup test, it's heavy to about right here, so we're within just like a minute of it coming out here. There we go. And now we have water flow. Let me uh, let that flow for like 30 seconds to make sure we have the full force. And then we will use our measuring cup and time out one minute to see what we're dealing with here. And do this for one minute. Okay, and there's our value for one minute. Looks like we're at exactly two cups. Cool. Okay, now we're jumping up another five feet to 25. Let me go ahead and get the stopwatch ready again. We're now five foot higher than the previous run. Let me get this prepared again. Okay, there's one minute. We are at just slightly less than two cups. Almost the exact same results. Definitely was not anticipating that. All right, let's jump up to 32 feet. Now we're at 32 feet. Let's time this for a minute. With five and a half feet of input head pressure, we should be able to lift at somewhere around the 40 foot mark and that's where the water would stop flowing and uh, those numbers are typically based on the roll pipe or poly pipe and with the PVC drive pipe that we have we should be able to get a little bit better than a 1 to 7 ratio and I think that's what we're seeing today is that it's lifting a little bit better than a 1 to 7. Okay, one minute. All right, we are finally starting to see less than two cups. We're at one and a half cups or 12 ounces here. So we are finally seeing a reduction, which means this pump could probably go up quite a bit further. I feel like this test went pretty good. Five and a half feet of input head pressure to 20 foot, 25 foot, and then 32 foot. And we did not really see much of a change between 20 and 25 foot. But once we hit that 32, there was a half cup per minute difference. So I think that we have a decent bit of uh, results from this little test. And my chart is definitely underway. So uh, I guess a lot of charts maybe are done by mathematics and not real life testing. Because this is going to take quite a while to use all four pumps in different scenarios like this. At different head pressures, at different lift heights. And to be honest, my little setup here up to the house is kind of limiting on the height I can lift up to. I could probably get another uh, 10 to 15 feet behind the house. Source just dried up. Um, but I don't think that I will be able to keep this position here for any more input head pressure because I won't have enough back pressure down on the pump to keep things going. So I may have to look around for a different setup here or I could just uh, do this low input head pressure and just give a very basic graph for how the uh, five and a half foot treats the flow rate up top based on uh, the four different sizes of pumps. Anyway, fun test. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.